Peace and blessings, Aquarius. This is Ascension Empress with your part two slash bonus reading. All right, so I appreciate it. I appreciate the love, the positive energy and feedback. Those who are transmuting the energy, taking what resonates and leaving the rest. I really do appreciate y'all. Okay, so let's see. We gonna, <laughs> we gonna see what's going on. With this part two, this mid-month energy. Yeah, we got the Queen of Cups already. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What? Somebody sorry. Somebody sorry here, Aquarius. Right? Or wants to, or it's like coming with good intention. Um, there may be a water sign. Or there's someone who has wanted to support you emotionally. There's something going on. What's, what's this Queen of Cups? I was just, yes. Y'all, look at that. Or, oh, wow, I heard this is a spirit guide. Okay, you have a feminine energy who is exchanging, wanting to exchange. I heard some type of message, idea, dream, or presence. Like, yeah, there's some type of presence letting you be known. Because this water energy is making it, oh, y'all, this energy is getting strong. And I'm starting to get chills, okay? Because I don't feel it's so much a water sign. I feel it's more of this comfort, this y'all have this y'all have the spiritual protection um uh, i heard validation confirmation here what's going on with this uh six of pentacles yeah oh y'all I, I got the soul journey yeah okay so we got to take a a different route with this one all right so let's see yeah and wow you can't make this up okay as soon as i said a different route and i had to clear some energy and ground myself before i press record because you know, sometimes you gotta be you gotta be mindful when the comments are on. Some people are not going to be as discerning. They're not gonna think before they type. All right, not gonna see the bigger picture, whatever. So look, and I just seen a a, a gnat. <laughs> That's confirmation, right, y'all? But there's some there's someone coming forth here. It says I am open to seeing both sides of the situation, and whoever this is. Or whatever presence or support. I'm hearing spiritual support that you have. I feel like y'all are in the energy of seeing um, both sides of the situation. And I couldn't pretend. Okay, y'all. I couldn't pretend like I didn't understand that ignorance is bliss and common sense ain't common. So I was like, you know what? We're going to transmute the energy. And we're going to keep it moving. And now it's, it's unfolding in the reading as well. So some of y'all are, wow, you're doing that. You're being aware of what you're giving your time and your energy to. Right? Six of Pentacles here. One more soul journey. I love this. Who you're giving your time energy to? Yeah, y'all. Didn't I say some dream energy? Okay. And I heard, can you imagine? Um, th this, this, the presence of this feminine energy, okay, it can be a man or a woman. Take it how it resonates. The presence of this feminine energy is helping you or someone imagine here. Okay, I embrace the nor I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind, right? And when you're in this empathetic state, right, you're able to vibe a lot higher, but also because I don't feel like y'all are being a doormat. That's why the six of pentacles is here. Okay, some of y'all are like, I don't have the time, the money, or the energy to just give to whatever, but you can embrace and nourish the creative aspect of your mind. Some of y'all are pouring more into that this imagination okay I, you all i'm so excited for y'all let's see what the moonology energy is we going oh no yes this <laughs> wow yes aquarius one more <laughs> new moon and leo didn't i say i'm excited about the full moon and aquarius is coming up right leo season so this lion's gate may be um a very trend oh i heard of a pivotal time for you okay and it's some of y'all may have Leo on your chart, all right? Take a look, study it if you want. But this here, I'm picking up this Leo season, new moon in Leo. Confidence is key to your success. Yeah, there's some type of, I heard monumental communication is key. Yeah, new moon in Gemini. Mm. I keep hearing from a boy to a man type energy. What is... Is it Corinthians? I can't remember the exact verses, but Corinthians, the energy I'm picking up on, right? Someone's old ways, but still having empathy. One more with this Queen of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, and I'm flowing with it too, right? That's why I appreciate those who appreciate me. 
Okay, because look at this. That you can't make this up. And I was just yeah. I'm done. You cannot make this up. Exactly. I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. This feminine energy is helping you in terms of how you communicate with yourself, how you communicate with others, and that's why you showing up with this confidence going forward. So that's, I heard that it's taking off Leo season. It's like, yeah, the energy is gaining momentum. That energy and the moonology, that's what I'm picking up here, okay? The goddess of discernment, right? The goddess of discernment. So not only is this energy here to remind you, yeah, love on you. I heard I love you, right? But it's putting you in this very discerning energy. Some of y'all may be even praying for discernment. Very, very powerful. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. What did I say? Okay. What would you like Aquarius to be aware of? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. The Spirit is saying, take what resonates with you. Leave the rest when it comes to life. Right? Discernment. I had to use my discernment when it came to the comments. I'm like, okay, you can just think what you think. But I'm not going to see your comment. Because then that just is negative energy for other people. So blessings. So that you exactly judgment. Y'all, you cannot make this up. Right? Blessings be upon y'all. Look, Tower. I heard new consciousness. That's what I'm hearing here. Sudden change, fast changes, change in foundation, everything. Communication is key. Be aware of you, you all's communication as well. Um, are you stepping from a place of courage when it comes to maybe some type of contract, some type of something when it comes to finances? Be courageous. Be strong here, right? Yeah, Knight of Swords. Because there's a message coming in or a message going out, okay? Oh, this is thinking without speak. This, yeah, this, okay. I heard thinking without speak. Wow, that's empathy is what I'm hearing. So some of y'all could be discerning, right? You can not think before you speak. And some of y'all can also think and not say nothing at all. Right? That's where the strength and this maturity is coming from. And I also heard you don't have nothing to prove. Like, it's like, y'all have proved a lot. Look at this. Okay, yeah. Okay. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. Balancing your energy. This is also an angel, y'all. Right? This is someone's guide. This is, ooh, belief. Imagine. Wow, yeah. Imagination. Sagittarius energy is going to be the one. <laughs> To show up with those kind of lessons and that kind of presence because the ninth house of higher education, philosophy, religious beliefs, right? Understanding, meanings, reason, so much. It goes on and on and on. Beliefs. <laughs> beliefs is one of the biggest when it comes to Sagittarius. Ninth house energy, right? Long distance travel, foreign travel. Look at that. Ooh, now we're getting to the Scorpio. Look, you can't make up. Scorpio energy. And there y'all go. There y'all go. This is confirmation. So, yes, being aware of who, what, what y'all giving y'all time and your energy to. Somebody is very sure. Aquarius. <laughs> y'all are very sure. There's this mental discipline as well. This is intelligence. This is someone who doesn't say much, right? But there's this understanding. There's this empathy. I love this. I heard that's why you don't have to say much as well or something around explaining yourself. Look at that. Yeah, you've been, you've learned. Y'all are, okay, so someone, uh, you know, Scorpio. Yeah, okay, so the death card. We're going to have to clarify this because Scorpio got, I think, was it Scorpio? I mean, it might have been a collective reading, okay? This energy, this message, what was it? Someone feels like they're only getting older, Okay, and it was a masculine energy. And this is wrapping up a cycle, right? This could be the Saturn energy. Some of y'all could be going through your Saturn return, okay? So that could be, you know, around the age of, what, 60, 59, 58, the late 50s and the 30s, okay? 
Whew, y'all. Now, me doing mad thing. I love math. What's the overall message for this death card? Okay. Ooh. Death to being in this energy, Aquarius. Right? This regret, this guilt, this shame. I feel like this is self-sabotage. This is changing here. Or somebody... Somebody could be like this around you. Somebody could really be having a hard time. They could be going through a lot. All right. Or there could, my condolences, there could be a passing here. And it, at the same time, it allows you to see something. And I heard take life more serious. The world, someone's wrapping up a cycle here of understanding a lesson. What's this world card? Ooh, that was fast. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. Whoa. This just took a turn. <laughs> this just took a turn, honey. All right. So not only is somebody sure, there's someone at a distance. There's a feminine energy here, okay, who could be at a distance. So now that this masculine is understanding or stepping into prioritizing, I'm here. yeah, prioritizing time, uh, something around time management, quality, relationships, imagine, there's something around imagination, okay, I'm hearing faith, fear, but that's where this courage is coming in, okay, so someone's beliefs are playing a huge role, and someone is, has their eye on someone they want a connection with, uh, or they, ha it's like they have a connection with, but still wants like, they want a connection, y'all. You have the four of wands here, right? And you have this lover's card. And someone's watching. There's someone watching here, or there could be this message, or uh, some short communication, something going on here. Ooh, you're going to get into the crow. All right, what do you want Aquarius to be aware of when it comes to the page of swords? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Uh, y'all did kind of that. Okay, I didn't even think about that, Okay. So some of y'all have been trying to transmute whatever energy is external to you that don't want to let you go. That wasn't y'all part one reading, right? But here, y'all got y'all eye on somebody else. And somebody may be feeling some type of way. They may be in regret. Again. And it fell on the floor. What is it? Where is my glass? <laughs> yeah. It's the Queen of Cups. It's the Queen of Cups, y'all. You got the Queen of Cups here, and you also got the Queen of Cups that just fell on the floor. So I heard there's a decision being made. Wow. Make that how it resonates, okay? What other messages? I, sometimes, I, sometimes I just leave it there. The energy, feel like it's supposed to fall on the floor and stay there. I leave it there, okay? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is wanting to build. Okay, there may be some short communication, something online, some, uh, I heard, yeah, and then ships coming in, something around the travel, three, three of wands, three weeks, three days, three months, all right? What's this month? Yeah, so that Lionsgate energy. I heard after this Libra season, something about our own Libra season, y'all, there's a connection coming together. Or I heard the presence is going to be felt. What's the four of wands? And this Ten of Pentacles here for Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Will of Fortune, y'all, and the High Priestess. <laughs> y'all, some of y'all intuition been telling y'all. Okay, there's something around a surprise here as well. Yeah, there's a, ooh, there's a surprise. Okay, yeah, in the Page of <laughs> in the page of Pentacles. Somebody, I heard, I heard somebody say, stop being nosy. <laughs> they said, stop being nosy. Okay, so you or somebody else. So this King of Swords, um, it could be you, Aquarius could be coming off as you know non-communicative i think that's the word okay you're not communicating much right but you could just really again listening you could be listening to your intuition y'all could be tapping into it more yeah because i know i have y'all i'm just like i'm trying to learn and flow with it all right yeah look yeah y'all are definitely receiving guidance okay discerning messages that discernment right from the spirit realm your your spirit guides here right because it aligns with god's word so many of y'all may be getting into god's word as well right this i keep hearing discernment when when you have that when you when you have this wisdom when you have this understanding you don't y'all don't waste your breath arguing with people debating with people and yeah wait see and i was just and i i just pictured in my mind that um argumentative never wrong 
energy. Okay? In that last reading, y'all part one. So here you have the seven of swords, Aquarius. Right? And y'all moving in silence too. You know a lot, but you're not letting that on. That's what, mm, I don't blame you. And I'm, I feel like I'm talking to a man here, okay? Working with masculine energy. Look, justice. I know that's right, okay? Or I, there could definitely be something illegal going on, right? Somebody's taking a, they're taking initiative legally, okay? Or Libra season, justice card. Y'all, where's a kipper? Because I know this, I love this. I'm excited. There's also a contract. I heard marriage, secret marriage, or someone is going off and doing their own thing. Um, like, a, there's a connection. That empress in the emperor is what I'm picking up on for some. It's going towards the ten of pentacles. They're both ra wrapping up cycles. So somebody, this one is to fall, but it didn't. Okay, yep, yeah, see? And what didn't fall? The transformation. What fell? Someone who is in, regr in regret. I was about to say regret. Exactly. Right? Somebody. Wow. Y'all, this Queen Cups energy that fell is it's very strong. It's very strong. So they may have had a hold or there's something around obsession or they could be Scorpio. They could have Scorpio energy. Right? And again, why is the coffin here? And my condolences again, Aquarius. So I, I do pick up on a passing. I pick up on recently as well. I, privileged lady. Privileged lady, y'all. That's this Queen of Cups. They're immediately, if my condolences, Aquarius, that's why. That's why this Queen of Cups energy is very strong. Um, both of them. Because somebody was a very whether you had a good connection or um, i heard emotional there could have been emotional abuse somebody was a very significant figure in your life yeah okay. i had to ground myself some more aquarius so i'm picking up that this the passing of this queen of cups energy is immediately coming in to give you validation about a new chapter in your life. This milestone, this pivot, this transformation. There's a spiritual transformation that is happening here for an Aquarius energy. Okay? And I'm I'm for it, y'all. Sending y'all so much love. Let's, yeah, let's see with the Arisha Tarot. What the ancestor spirit guidance is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What ancestor spirit guidance messages do you have wow new chapter new money new opportunities new commitments the, okay see there is a battle there is a mental battle here with somebody seven of water here okay there may be some confusion. You may be, you know, not feeling stable. Because, wow, wait a minute. I think it was a collective reading um, that I was talking about the, it's, it's not a comfortable position to be on the edge like this when you have a heavy heart or there's some type of resentment or, you know, you're just choosing not to do the work or not seeing something clearly. You're going through something without discernment. Okay. There's one thing where you're not using your discernment versus not using belief. All right. Like you don't, you don't have to have a whole lot of faith, right? God said some mustard seed. And then there was this energy around somebody having more than a mustard seed. But then there's this energy that I'm picking up here that there's nothing whatsoever. There's nothing whatsoever, um, Spirit said, that's changing here with the presence of the Spirit Guide. They may see that you feel lost, you feel confused is what I'm hearing. Wow, y'all. Ooh, we. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad I had to, like, pause and ground myself before I press record again, y'all. Look at that. Aquarius, tell me this is not your energy. Some of y'all feeling like an outcast, all right? There's something around associations, but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to read about this for y'all. I think I have read this. So y'all, okay, you can email me and I'll we can talk about it if you want. Okay, we can talk about it if y'all want. This outcast energy, especially when it um the description in this book. All right. There's healing. Look at that ten of earth again. Look at that ten of pentacles. 
Okay, y'all ancestors and your spirit guides are letting you know you are protected, right? All you got to do is ask and you will receive with belief, is what I'm hearing, with belief. And it is, if it's for you, trust and believe, right? Is there trust here? Do you believe that you're protected? Do you believe... That your guides are literally pouring into you, filling up your cup. Some of y'all may be feeling like you you can't show emotion or, you know, there's been, you've seen a lot. You got a lot on your mind. You're not trying to let on a lot, right? Trust me, Aquarius, I am not exempt, <laughs> okay? Been there. And especially when you have this Aquarius energy, okay? So there's this healing that's taking place. There's this healing. There's permission as well. I heard God has given your ancestors permission, right? To come and assist you. Someone's very intuitive here with the high priestess. What's the high priestess here for? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What do you want Aquarius to be aware of? Yeah, so that you can release, so that you can go to, towards your nine, okay? That nine of cups, that emotional fulfillment. This is not emotional fulfilling. This is confusion, feeling, you know, burdened by, you know, so much that's going on and not knowing where to go and what to do. And it could be because, you know, you actually do have empathy for the people who have, you had to leave behind, you had to leave, I'm here, yeah, fallen or something, yeah, wow, or who have passed on, okay, well, so, spirit we're we gonna read, y'all, we're gonna read, <sighs> holy spirit, holy angels, okay, so, before I even get to this, and for those who want to listen, you just stay on, thank you, welcome, all right, but, the nine of fire immediately is what I turn to, okay? So I talked about this healing, and it says nine large candles, each representing a state of meditation and, and enlightenment. A man wearing a white turban lies on a straw mat in a profound mystical state, knowing that this period of asceticism and fasting will result in his transformation, y'all. Will result, oops, see, there go a gnat. <laughs> will result in his transformation and regeneration. The number nine is the only number that, when multiplied by other, results in a number that, when reduced to a unit, becomes nine again. Okay, so didn't I talk about this completion, honey? Okay, these end, the end of cycles. The number nine, look into it. Some of y'all may already feel connected to it the will of fortune it came out twice y'all okay in the world <sighs> so excited for y'all it says upright apparent inactivity because your actions will be more mental and or spiritual as you enter a stage of self-improvement during which it is necessary to save energy for that purpose it is advisable that you refrain from material things to reach higher levels of consciousness. Didn't I say a new consciousness? Wow, y'all, y'all are vibing higher. Somebody's about to transmute. Come through, come through, Holy Spirit. All right, for that purpose, oh, Spirit said, say it again, okay. For that purpose, purpose, Spirit said purpose, okay. It is advisable that you refrain from material things to reach higher levels of consciousness. I just heard that's what somebody's been asking for. Somebody's been wanting to get up out of this energy. Okay? And it may have manifested through, you know, maybe coming off a little, I heard careless when it comes to communication. But I heard hurt people hurt people. Right? I heard don't yeah, don't take it personal. I was just talking to my dad about that again, right? We be talking having lessons and talks about that, honey. All right, it says abstain from alcohol and sex upside down, something spiritual that you could not or fail to obtain, time wasted or lost, postponing valuable things for superficial ones. These delays in action may open astral and or material doors to your adversaries. Wow. 
thus causing innumerable unforeseen events and difficulties. You can't make this up. You can't make this up, y'all. Right? Didn't I pick up on that energy? Like, some of y'all were dealing with someone or y'all told someone that it was one thing with one connection and another thing you got like, and so it's y'all transforming, y'all healing. Death to the old, I heard death to the old Jew, the old way of seeing things, the old way of doing things. I love this for you. I really do, Aquarius. I'm so excited. Let's pull a mother piece, okay? Because I'm feeling the mother peace energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yes, two wands. And ooh, I heard and I ooh, because y'all on target. Y'all on point. Whatever energy was trying to be projected onto you, it has been returned to sender, Aquarius. Nothing is being done. That's why this is here. That's why they're because. So I heard the do the doors, <laughs> because you have you made a decision or y'all becoming more disciplined. You're stepping into that lion energy. All right, son of disc. The doors of the adversary. The doors being closed on your adversaries. It's not being opened. Okay. Y'all are facing this. One more. Yep, Ten of Cups is coming, honey. I heard between now and Leo season. So that, y'all, keep me updated. Keep me updated. Because sometimes people come across the readings for the first time, you know, weeks and months and what, however long or later. Sometimes it resonates way after someone reads, you know, or, you know. <laughs> Just let me know, y'all, because I'm amazed. I'm speechless. I'm, I'm still picking up on so many different energies. And I have been thinking that I want to do, um, include y'all, like, the series. Because I've been talking to Scorpio about that. But, y'all, it's some very beautiful energy going on. So, take what resonates with you all. Leave the rest. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate y'all. I hope you all take care of yourselves, loving yourselves and your loved ones. And be blessed. Bye.